Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Trip Tricks and Tech. Today we're going to show another video on our newest uh, F-150 Lightning. I'm going to show you a couple of features on the app, uh, which is called Ford Pass app. And also we're going to compare Tesla app and the Ford Pass app and see what are the features uh, on both uh, apps are available, right? So we're going to check and see which one is better and what are the features that is available on both apps. So let's go check that out. So for those who don't know, um, I have three EVs. I have two Teslas, which you can see right here. I have a Model Y and I have a Model X. And right now, the newest version right here, Ford F-150 Lightning. Okay, so I have three. So we're going to do, uh, compare the apps on all three models and we're gonna check it and we're gonna see which one is better. Uh, so let's go to app, each app, and I'm gonna screen record it. So I'm gonna do a voiceover it. So which will be better option for that. Okay, so uh, let's go check that out. Okay, let's open our app. So you can see I have a uh, Tesla and Ford. So let's open Ford Pass, there's a Ford Pass. So here comes my vehicle. I have 99% of charge with 250 miles. If you click that, on top it comes the United Lightning and it comes my account shows Ford Pass you know the settings and privacy message center and all those things so let's go to the connected uh, the service to charge forward and uh, if you look at it you know it'll just ask you if you have a your home charger but I don't have any of this I'm using my uh, current Tesla so it doesn't matter this one I don't really use them so if you go back and you can see the connected service um so currently uh let's check out what i have i didn't uh, subscribe anything but pretty much it came with inland backup power which i don't have it so i didn't activate it next one is blue oval charging network i'm not really charging outside so i didn't activate trial that so i still you know i can activate it if i have to and another one is Ford streaming which will expire soon uh, I don't really need it so I'm not gonna renew it so then next one is Actuis Alexa building which will be good till 2026 so should be okay and connected building navigation which both I need I use it often so it's good for 2026 so I'm okay I may renew it if I have to that's the only thing now uh, the other thing is um, you know uh, message sender it will just uh, like you know uh, something that if there's a message it will uh, come up there and um, these are the settings you know if you want to change the password username and things like that so that's a setting so let's go back and uh, this is the main menu right here and then you have uh, you can click the button will you know make it uh, zoom in and zoom out your uh, vehicles on the road top right if you click uh, the bottom map it will come uh, the map and it shows the the charging networks around here so you can find the chargers the DC fast charging electric America electrify America is the most uh, common one and nearby ones these are the nearby one and if you click the map it will show you where this thing uh, in your map uh, pretty much okay then you have another option uh, like you can plan your trip the trip planner and the charging and roadside assistance and things like that so um, uh, this you let's say if you put your florida or any address it will just take you to the florida with um, with all the charging necessary and things like that so that you can use it with the trip planner uh, which is uh, something that is interesting uh, in the Ford app because it doesn't uh, show that in uh, in the Tesla app. We don't have that uh, feature in the Tesla app, but uh, pretty much in the Ford app we have this option. But if you put the address, it will take you to the to the map. Like which of your choice, you can use Apple or uh, Google Maps. That's what both I have installed in my phone. But uh, this is not that i was looking at you should be looking at the trip planner which is a second option uh, if you click that then this is what you're going to put it so let's say it's from your beginning uh from the starting point and if you put the the end point so let's say it's if you select uh miami it taking some time to load uh but if you take the miami so i did that miami florida so it shows you all the charging so you probably need a 
uh, about four hours of charging time and add it to your regular time so it will take you one day and 25 minutes to get there so this will show all the charging stops necessary to get there so i'm not planning to do any long ride on a road trip or nothing like that but this is just a convenient feature in the app which is available uh, i don't think tesla has this in their app um, so this is one convenient feature that uh, ford pass has it compared to the tesla okay the other options you can change you know like the charger which i already showed you and uh, things like that um so that's uh, pretty much it there and uh, you know you can find the dealership and things like that the collision center and things like that which will show in the app in the map too so you know from the from your app uh, you can straight um, you know search it so it will take you to this map option and then we'll show you all the collision centers the ultimate collision center repair and those, these are the authorized service i mean collision centers by the ford so this one is pretty much showing that and um, if you go uh, this is like uh, pretty much settings and assistance of you know if you need any assistant you can start the request or call the agent so you can click that so i'm not using that so let's go back to the ford pass again so this is the main menu uh, and once you open the app this is what you will see so and if you go back again 24 assistant or set assistant quality assistant so if you need quality assistant you can click the self-service or talk to an advisor we can do that and um, to get out there yeah i don't think there's any option other than just closing out the app that's why i'm trying to close it again it comes here so uh, the options comes here is uh, preferred dealer and, and this is just a regular setting so um, you know vehicle owner thing and uh, pretty much uh, all other upcoming service checks like if it comes 10,000 miles and this is a regular checkup and uh, things like that just uh, this is this is under service menu trailer checklist i don't have a trailer hooked up yet so but if you want to hook up you can have a trailer checklist it will show you what to check and have to check and make sure before you ride it will as a convenient feature um, that you know just a checklist for you before you ride uh, with the checklist so these are the service manual I search for how to do the videos and things like that so you can search and next one is like the service alert guide you can if, the, if you see any alert you can just go through this you can find what that alert means which is a convenient feature the other thing is or else more manual which same thing you can find in uh, tesla app too uh, which uh, which is convenient if you need to cook guide if you want to go through any of this thing so that's uh, come there and um, yeah that's warranty so if you go to the warranty option you could just take it to the warranty this is basic bumper to bumper warranty which is good till uh till thirty thousand miles and then uh, this is a corrosion uh, warranty which is five year unlimited miles this one is uh, you know the uh, powertrain warranty five years 60,000 miles and the electrical component this is the main thing eight year 100,000 miles um, so that's a warranty Tesla will give you a little bit okay and if you want to explore some plans if you want to extend your warranty you have an option to do so if you click that then it will take you to the plan uh, so that you can choose from the plan that available uh, you know you can want to purchase it but I'm not looking to purchase any plan at this time so that's pretty much it it will just take you to the ford uh, uh, website and then you can choose the plan or whatever plan you like to so that's in warranty then um, uh, that's one is no issue fund this is just a vehicle check uh, pretty much and um, brake suspension everything and you know, everything is about and everything there's no issue or anything like that um, so if there's an issue you have an option to find a dealer you can click that and then you can just uh, make an appointment with them and uh, pretty much uh, you know this uh, health report yeah this is one good thing uh, stay up to your vehicle health it will give you monthly report it will send it to your uh, email monthly reporting and that's a good feature which i think um then if you go back it's your vehicle location there so i made a reading and active alerts there's no active alerts or anything like that so that's a status and things like that so now you click the pressure monitor system you can check your pressure of your vehicle this is your vehicle tire pressure which you can remotely monitor it the same thing is available on a tesla uh, which is a cool feature um, i really like it so you will see you will not accidentally go you know 
you will, you will get notification if your uh, you know goes down so if you want to change settings save locations and this is for the charging um, so if you want to make your charging i'm usually charge up to 90 percent but if you want to change your settings you can do so by saved location so you can specific location you can change the settings of the charging and things like that so this is set uh, to 90 percent at home so uh, uh, that's what i'm choosing uh, 90 percent is good um, so that's the settings charge scheduled uh, settings and uh, So, other departure times. There's another feature. So, let's say if you work on a certain time, so Monday to Friday, 8 to 5, so you can set your departure time like 7.45, so it will warm up your vehicle for you. That's a good feature that Tesla has too. And this is the charging history. It will show you how many percentage you plug in and how much charge was added and things like that. So, this is a really cool feature to this one and does not, uh, um, you know, the Tesla does not have, I think they have, there's some locks, but uh, Tesla does not have uh, this extended lock for the charge locks. Um, so, uh, you know, this is another charging, you know, blue oval and things like that, but, you know, I don't have any plan or anything like that. So, that's, I'm not really interested. So, again, so these are the trips. Uh, so it will show you how much charge you used on our last trips, uh, which is another really nice feature, I think, uh, which Tesla is offering. Um, not Tesla, the Ford is offering, my bad. And so each trip shows how much charge you used and things like that. So that's the features of setting, security settings. So that's a software hotspot. Um, I have been uh, up, I have been down, what do you call it, activated my uh, uh, Wi-Fi yet but you can do so by clicking that and if you will take it to the AT&T um, hotspot option then you can just sign up through here but I'm not really using it so uh, I didn't do that okay so it's showing you the my vehicle options for eligible free 3G trial data plan uh, I haven't subscribed to that too so anyway it's a trial but uh, I'm not gonna sign up for that you don't need it so let's work for hotspot now it comes to sunlight which is really nice feature i love about this car uh you know you can power on all sound so this vehicle will illuminate around the vehicle so it has a front light side and back and everywhere so at the dark it illuminate just like a lightning so you can choose a zones like front zone or back or you know the back or side or which way you like to choose which is really nice feature i love uh, this thing about it so that's sound lighting now it's a power pro on board so if you want to turn on if you want to check if your uh, inverter to a 220 volt i mean actually 110 volt uh, power pro is on you can check here so my road service 50 miles so it will shut off automatically when my uh, my vehicle come down below 50 miles so that's the setting i chose and um that's the other feature and uh, what else is software update um i not trailer like check i have been hooked up any trailer so that's that feature and uh, pretty much next one is software um, um update i uh, have automatic update on but this one just show you like the recent changes was done on january 24th and so on it's automatically done uh, it's a pretty cool feature and uh, that's all about in this um under under vehicle um uh, feature and um, pretty much uh, what else you have okay let's um uh, check this out and uh, yeah that's pretty much it and if you click the home button it will bring you right here so this is a home uh um, buttons and uh, pretty much you have a um, lock start and uh, lock feature and you have a horn sound uh, right there which i'll show you here okay you can take the app and then like i said earlier uh it's like to click it unlock you push and hold it for a couple of seconds it will rotate it so the the door is unlocked so that's right there and then next one is uh to lock the vehicle you push and hold the lock button for a couple of seconds it will rotate it and it was locked now it turned for to turn on the machine so you can turn it on the vehicle push and hold it so it will turn on it will run for 15 minutes you can change that uh, if you want to extend it you can click that plus plus 15 minutes it will run again for another 15 minutes so then click that that will go a total of 30 minutes um, the 
the vehicle will run so it will keep the vehicle warm so if you're cold morning you can just wake up and turn it on turn that on and then it will be ready by the time you're ready to go to work or you're ready to build so then you click again the vehicle will, will stop it again so that's there and uh, if you click the horn button if you want to find your vehicle where it is um, you can click the horn button then uh, that will uh, sound the horn, press and hold it. You cannot click it, you just have to push and hold it. The horn and uh, light will come on, so just confirm it. The first time I'm using it. So you go, the panic alarm is activated. So if you want to deactivate it, you could pretty much uh, click it and uh, it will turn it off. So that pretty much it over there. And uh, let's see what other feature we can uh, show you. Uh, like I showed earlier, if you click the you from the air home button straight to the charger, if you click the view charger, will take you straight right here. But so we pretty much explore all the features in the uh, Ford F one fifty or Ford Pass Pass app for Ford F one fifty Lightning. Now let's check out our Tesla app. So this one I have uh, my Archangel, which is a Model Y, and um, it's loading over while If you move it to the right, I have my Model x and then the one more swipe will take you to my uh, uh solar uh, setup well, we're now going through the solar features which is in another video but uh, this is model uh, x and this is my model y so it's updated i have 220 miles of range left and i can change the colors on it uh, it's not actually i have a white car but i put a color anyway so to unlock it you click the unlock button if you want to turn on your uh, uh, you know heater you can turn on then if you click the charger you can check and see what's your limit you can set the limit over here the one good feature is that you can see that you can go down on the amp that the set you can charge it on how many amps you like but the uh, Ford does not have that option which I was hoping that I will have it or someday they will add it to the Ford feature which is really nice feature and if you go um all the way uh, down to that that's a fort <laughs> if you wish and hold then you can choose any option from here you can move it up to the top so you can choose a uh, horn uh you know like defrost or honk or send remote anything that you can move it up uh, to your um, shortcut feature okay so you can hold it and uh, a button and then you can move the other to your favorite solar says you can hold the vent you can move up and down so uh pretty much uh, this is a good feature so you can customize your app uh, this is really nice so then now we just bring it back to the uh, normal so if you click the top of the button uh, car it will unlock the car if you want to open the thing you can click to open it it will open your trunk trunk you can open it uh, by clicking front but i don't want to do that and you can click the charge port you can open it and then if you click the top you can say show you all the psi your uh, uh your uh, tire psi and things like that so when there's something that you can click in it it will crack open your window and then start its remote start and then if you want to flash you can flash it you can honk it uh, pretty much all these features over here and that's all the way in the top and then you go to control so it will uh, you can click the uh, your uh, control your thermostat by clicking that you can refrost your car you can camp all the abdomen also overheat protection if you click uh, turn that on or you can turn it off that's a command if your location you can find the location of your vehicle so this is your location you can have the you know satellite view of the car location if you click in from the bottom that's your supercharging location around your house or around your location right now and uh, my uh, car is at home so this is the closest one so then you can also see that in the map now you can schedule it you can schedule a departure like you have it in ford and uh, also you can uh, schedule a charge at what time you want to charge it you can plug it in and then you can plug the vehicle and then you can charge it and schedule and security and uh, that's your uh, sentry mode i have sentry mode off and uh, that's a really cool feature uh, that tesla has i hope uh, uh, ford will bring that one uh, soon and the valley mode and speed limit mode you can limit and you can manage your drivers so then you go to charge status so this will show you the month and how much you paid how much you're paying for the entire month so last 31 days i paid about 88 dollars that's uh, 
pretty much on paying for the uh, for to charge the vehicle and uh, if you hold it that's a yearly thing if you hold uh, you can change it to a year so that's i paid hundred thousand dollars and twelve hundred bucks for seven thousand two hundred and twenty five kilowatt uh, which is savings if off to that's almost three thousand dollar gas savings compared to a gas vehicle because i drive about twenty six thousand miles a year so uh, supercharger i pretty much uh, 46 cents i don't I barely use it at home i pay about 15 cents and uh, so that's uh, pretty much um, this just show you the save money tips i can went to charge how to save money and uh, you know and things like that that you you really don't need any of those things uh, this is just pretty much uh, information that you can find it online uh, i'm not really interested in that um so that's it charging tips and settings and um, that's your uh, charge status uh, for the year and the month you can move in and then you can see how much you use off peak or peak time charging and uh, things like that but overall uh, pretty good and um, now let's go to upgrade so if i want to upgrade you can upgrade it right by software buying a software acceleration boost for two thousand bucks and uh, he gets auto pilot for six thousand i'm not buying any of those things but pretty much you can buy those or full self-driving capability for you can subscribe those 199 per month and also you can buy accessories from here uh, it's pretty cool uh, you can see all this thing you can buy and uh, pretty much everything and that is accessible through your app um, so this is one cool feature which i think uh, really nice of uh, tesla having added to this um, you know app integrated to the app uh, that's uh, you don't really need it but uh, but still you know it's good so this is what i have activate autopilot premium connectivity is expired which i don't need it i barely use the uh, you know premium connectivity so that's all have it as an upgrade so let's go to the service so if you want to uh, have any request so you can click that request service and this is a history of the services which i had in uh, the mobile service and the service and the video tutorial like uh, ford has it pretty much this one has all the videos uh, how to show things like that and owner manual pretty much same thing like uh, ford f-150 this has a uh, ford i mean uh, tesla manual to request ser service you can click that and then you have to request a service by choosing your problem and you can do it like that now the roadside assistant you click that okay it will take you to the roadside assistant flat tire or uh, any what's a problem you can just click that and then it will take you to the you know um, appropriate agency so that's it and then there's a model y i have a 50 what 8000 mile and this is the release note uh, for the newest firmware update mm -hmm. that's pretty much here and then archangel this one just show you what the spec i have autopilot and then there's a warranty covering battery battery warranty and things like that that shows uh, you know pretty much uh, whatever 100,000 mile uh, pretty much standard for both car and uh, that's all in the app um, and drivers you can add uh, drivers and uh, you know you can already that in the top you can click the loot box this is one you have a uh, zero credits if you refer someone you can get some credits and free supercharging miles i don't have any this is my uh, uh refers uh refer and, and pretty much you can uh, refer uh, your friends and then this is the refer so you get uh, solar roof gets about uh, uh, 9000 uh, points and with that points you can buy uh, things from uh, tesla so that's the thing and the history that this is there for you know, you can pass history these are the offers i have for the vehicle and the solar uh, pretty much uh, and they all uh, order from uh, me so that's all about here and um, that's it and then to redeem it you can go you can buy all these things from tesla uh, by redeeming uh, you know, like uh, with the 120,000 uh, credits, you can get uh, um, subscribing, things like that. So so that's pretty much it. And if you click on top, you can see my car, Archangel, aerial flight machine, and all those things in the top. Uh, you get to see all the Tesla charger and a uh, new charger, charger inbox, load box, credits of eights, and things like that. Um, it's just pretty information stuff and uh, inbox uh, this is my like my account settings and uh, you know account and uh, you can add your picture on top so let's go uh, so that's here so
that's pretty much here what else to show here here you go let's go to my new uh, model y the only difference the model x the only difference you can see from here uh i probably um the you know if you click that that's all the thing and sorry more and summons uh things like that. so the summon is the only added feature that you can see here um in there so that's the location then summon will bring you a car if you haven't watched my previous video please watch it i have a summons full uh video on it and uh, if you click the summon you can i will i can move the car autonomous and uh, schedule um this one i already showed it's not a big deal so and uh, let's try summon again so this is my car vehicle it's loading so see you can move up and go to target and you can move up and down so if you click the go to target it will come to you and you can move up and down on then you can set a path for that so that's the only difference that you can see on my model x because i have that package added uh, to that then if you go to the, my solar i'm uh, pretty much uh, this is my solar i'm using 4.3 kilowatt and um, that's uh, pretty all about it uh, of my tesla app so thanks for watching my video i hope this video is kind of helpful for you and if you plan to buy an ev definitely it will definitely help okay so one thing about a four ford f-150 ford pass app it is you know like ford is a newer uh, newcomer to this ev space versus tesla being there for last uh, about 10 uh, 10 to 11 years right uh, so that's why there is they are more advanced and everything uh, the features uh, the options that you can get and the uh, and the apps uh, features too so obviously it will take some time for tesla uh, the uh, ford to match up with them but hopefully over over the years to come i will, I will i'm expecting some update uh, from the programmers and from the coders from the uh, ford team to make some uh, excellent changes uh, that they can copy from uh, tesla anyway thanks for watching this video and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe my channel because i'll be coming with another uh, exciting video about evs and all other bunch of things so uh, if you haven't subscribed please consider do to do so and also please share with your friends if they're looking to buy an iv uh, that will be helpful for them too anyway thanks for watching again it's me aldo signing off bye bye